YCharts has thousands of funds available on our platform. You can narrow down these funds by using our fund screener here. So within our fund screener, you have the ability to either open a saved fund screener or start from one of our many templates that have already been built out, or you can start from scratch like I'm going to do in the video today. So I can start by narrowing down uh, my search here by filtering for certain criteria. I'm going to start by filtering by securities. So to do that, I'm going to select modify here. And then I'm actually going to first filter out all ETFs. So I have three options up here, um, intersect, exclude, and add. Intersect here is going to choose funds that match all of the filters that are above it. Exclude is going to remove certain criteria. And then add is going to ignore all filters above it and then add back those additional securities. So I'm going to want to remove all ETFs from this. So I'm just going to select exclude and then ETF here. Once those have been removed, I'm actually going to go back in and modify and I'm going to select intersect up here. And then I am going to want to view all uh, funds that fall into the equity category and I'm going to click Submit as well. And then before I move on to metric filters, I'm going to select Remove Duplicates. So this will only show one share class of each fund instead of showing every single available share class. So once I've done this here, I'm going to select the metric filters. And from here, we have a few different options that you can filter the metrics by. So we have range, equation, percentile, and rank. Depending on the metric that you use, it might be best to use a certain one of these filters. I'm going to start by using our range filter here, and I'm going to look for North American exposure. And I want to see all funds that are between 50 and 75% here. So it's going to continue to narrow down that list. And then I'm also going to now want to filter again by the expense ratio. So I'm going to use an equation for this. And I'm going to just type in expense ratio and I want to see all funds that have an expense ratio that are less than, we're going to say 1% here, and it will narrow it again. So I've narrowed my securities down using both security filters and metric filters, and then the fund screener also offers this additional security exposure filter. So this will allow you to then filter funds down by their holding. So it needs to hold a specific security. In this case, I'm going to add Apple here. And then I want funds that include at least 1% of Apple or more. And this is going to be based off of their top 25 holdings. So once I click submit, you'll see that it narrows those funds down even more here. And from here, I'm able to now take a closer look at all of these funds and really add some more information to find what fund might be the best choice for me. So I have metric columns that I can add. And what's important to note about these metric columns is it's not going to screen down by the metric, but it will show all 112 of these funds the metric that you are looking at. So I'm just going to look at one year total returns and then select submit. And then once that loads, I can actually go in and select any one of these metrics that are along here and sort the funds by that metric. So as you can see here, it's going to sort them from lowest to highest first. I'm going to select that one more time and then I'm going to add just one more uh, column here. This is going to be an info column and I'm just going to want to view if these funds are open to new investors since that is important to me. 
And then once that loads, I am able to quickly view which funds I am able to and not able to invest in currently. So once I'm happy with how this looks, I can go ahead and I can click save as a watch list. So this will allow me to pull in the information on my dashboard. I will also want to scroll back up to the top here and select save as. Once I select save as here and type in a name, I can then pull this fun screener into different tools such as our comp tables, our time series, and I can do some more data analysis from there as well. If you have any questions on our fund screener tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.